Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about how to set up hot keys and hot buttons within Lightspeed Trader. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do if you haven't done it already is go up and create a custom order. And then after you have that custom order created, then you create the hot key and the hot button. You'll see hot buttons over here and hot keys are behind the scenes. So you'll come up here to utilities and then click on configuration settings. When you're over here, you'll click on custom orders and you'll see a few different custom orders that I already have over here. So if you already have one over here, if you wanna create a hotkey, you can just click on it and click on map key now. So right here, here's a buy 2000 map key now. And let's say I wanna just uh, do shift. We'll just name it shift two right now. So you would just click. So again, you'll see shift, alt, control, letters. You determine what you want to use over here, and then you just choose a letter or number that you want. And so I'll just do shift to map, and you'll see right here, it gives a buy 2000 uh, right over here. And so if I click on shift two, it'll buy 2000 shares, right? So I hit okay, the hotkey is set up. If I want to do a hot button, I just right click down here under hot buttons, click on settings, and you'll see right up over here, buy 2000, I actually have a couple of them set up over here. You'll just click on it and then click on add right over here, change the button and font colors if you'd like, press okay, and you'll see buy 2000. So that's, you know, if you already have an existing uh, order set up. So let's do, uh, a brand new order so you can see how it starts you know to do it from the start and then go through the process so that's if you already have a custom order converting it to a hot key or a hot button so we'll go up here to utilities configurations custom orders I'm gonna go and delete these ones for 2000 for right now hit OK so when you come down here to hot buttons again right click settings you don't see them over here all right, so let's go up over here to utilities, configuration settings, custom orders, and let's create a new command. So this is going to be a brand new custom order that will convert to hot key and a hot button. So let's just call this one by 3000, All right? So you title the form, whatever you want up here. This is gonna be on the buy side, so I'll leave it by. Uh, you can just put whatever order, whatever routing you like to use down here. There's several different routing orders, um, you know, routing, you know, the NASDAQ, ARCA, EDGE, BATS. So I have NASDAQ down over here, so I'll just put that up here, NSDQ. And I'll do a limit order. Again, there's different orders you can place down here. I'll make it visible over here. If you're doing larger share positions, you know, sometimes you might want to hide them. Uh, but, you know, if you're a casual trader, you're not alarming the level two uh, with huge orders. You know, if it's just kind of casual, leave it visible. And then you'll come down here to bid, ask, you know, several market, any of those, uh, you know, ways that you, you know, want to enter your order. This is going to be ask. So I'll put it buying on the ask. And then through enables you to do a delta if you want to do five cent, 10 cent, two cent, meaning, you know, if I put. 0 0.505, that means it'll place a limit order of 3,000 shares, and the most it'll go up is about five cents above the ask. So if you're trading those low floaters that are crazy, uh, you won't necessarily get a bad fill. You'll either get filled up to five cents above the ask, or you won't get filled at all. So next up over here for order size, with position to close, I'm going to put that as quantity zero because I don't have a position. I'm looking to get into a position. So right over here with without position to close, I'm gonna click on quantity and put the quantity that I'm looking to buy right over here. So that's going to be 3000 shares. So right here, this is going to be 3000 shares, limit order, buying at the ask with up to five cents above. So the most I'll pay is five cents above the ask. And then I'll do pop-up confirm. I'll keep it as no, because this is I'm trying to get a hot key in and out or a hot button. I want to be in and out. I don't want a confirmation box. So I'm going to press no. And then if I press OK, it'll go back to the system right here. 
So I can go right away to map key now and map out the hockey. But for right now, I'll press OK just so you'll see how to go back. You'll go to Utilities, Configuration Settings, Custom Orders, and you'll see Buy 3000 here. This is where I can edit, delete, clone. Uh, but for right now, we're going to go and we're going to map a hotkey. So I'm going to click on it and click on Map Key Now. And this is where I'm going to go and associate a hotkey over here. So if you want to do Shift, Alt, Control, and then all just whatever your preference is on how to buy. I'm going to do Shift, and we'll do 3 for 3,000. So make sure you click Map over here, and you'll see S3 for Shift 3 to buy 3,000 shares. And then make sure you press OK. Now, I have if I pressed Shift 3, I would buy 3,000 shares at the ask or up to 5 cents above the ask. Now, to do a hot button, you'll just right click down here in your hot buttons area. So if you don't have hot buttons, you could just go and click on new and then hot buttons, which is right here. And you can just right click, click on settings and do buy 3,000, add, you know, change a color if you'd like up over here. I'll make it green font. I'll do white, hit OK. And then I will just make sure I add it over here. Actually, let me remove it. That's twice. And when I click on it, oh, I didn't do the color. So right click, settings, button. I will do right here. Button, green, OK. Font, white, OK. And then hit OK again. And there you go. So if you don't have hot buttons, that's the way you add them. And then you can just kind of find a space and uh, drop it in. And then make sure when you're done you know, with, with creating this order, you know, with doing the, you know, the custom order, your hot keys and hot buttons, make sure you go up to layout and then save your layout. So uh, you'll save all the work that you did. So now, you know, when you're doing a hot key, you'll see this level two. Uh, this is the order box. If I had multiple level two set up over here, the one that has the yellow box around it is the box or the level two that it'll use your hot keys or hot buttons. So if I did, you know, shift three, then it would buy 3000 shares based on the highlighted level two. If uh, I go down here and I just add settings, go to 3000, click add, hit OK. If I click buy 3000 right over here, it'll go off this level two. So that's really how simple it is to, um, you know, and again, you can go up here and remove if you'd like as well. So that's how simple it is to set up hot keys and hot buttons in the Lightspeed Trader platform. So hopefully this video helped you and we will see you in our community. Enjoy.